Hi, I'm Joe Craig, Interim Director of the UCCS Economic Forum, and welcome to my quick hits for the April dashboard. So let's kick things off with the labor market. Unemployment is down across the board, checking in at 3.1% nationally, 2.4% for Colorado, and 2.5% for El Paso County. The U6, which includes underemployed and those marginally attached to the labor force, is also down to 6.1%, and labor force participation is up. Locally, we only have about 0.21 people per advertised job, which means we are going to continue to see upwards pressure on wages and in turn prices, making the Fed's job much more challenging. Infl inflation continues to drop, but only 0.1 percentage points this last month, as opposed to the one percentage point drop we saw in the previous month. It wouldn't be a huge surprise to me to see the Fed raise the interest rate 25 basis points for 2024. The quarterly census on employment and wages also was released this month. And for El Paso County, we saw a continuing rise in employment almost everywhere. Specifically of note is the continued rise in professional and technical services, which is up 40% in the last six years. Construction employment also ticked up and adding that to holding steady with single and multifamily dwelling permits. And we seem to at least be back to building, if not buying. On the buying aspect, home sales continue to rise as we head into the summer, but modestly, which is good considering 30-year mortgage rates are at the highest we've seen in the last 13 years in the mid-6% range. Home prices fell as predicted in the fourth quarter of 2023. For the U.S., they fell 0.2%. For Boise, Idaho, they fell 10.3%. For Denver, 3.9%. And for Colorado Springs, 2.3%. The medium home price in Colorado Springs is now $447,000, which is quite a bit. I wanted to talk a little bit about tourism this month as well. Occupancy is up slightly by about one percentage point, but revenue per available room is up a whopping $21. We always trend up in the summer, but if the early numbers are any indication, we may have a higher peak this year than in previous years. Finally, I substituted employments for vehicle registrations as the Colorado Springs is looking at a continued upward trend in travel. In fact, employments are up 2,202% from three years ago. No, that's not a typo. Um, it's just a terrible stat, really, since I'm comparing April 2020 to the peak when the peak of the COVID lockdowns to now. Just wanted to remind everyone how devastating the pandemic was for our economy. Regardless, employments are still trending up from pre-COVID levels. I said two months ago that the next few months will tell us a lot about where we're headed. So far, we have two strong data points. We never have enough to know for certain conclusion, but it's certainly another point towards an optimistic outlook. Finally, I wanted to let you know that we'll have a new look for the snapshot videos next week. I was hoping to have it together for this dashboard, but some weddings in the Dominican Republic got in the way. These have been my quick hits for the dashboard in May. Thanks for watching.